I need a bitch that rock Louis V like me My talent times two like I'm Siamese Put money in my pocket till it rip my jeans I'm cold ice cream, I told my team Ain't nobody fucking with us, that's all Hey, how's it going guys? It's Sodar here And today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video In this video we're going to I'm going to show you guys how to install the SPRX integration to Visual Studios 2010 And I'm also going to show you how to set up SPRX so what you're going to do first is you're going to need the two magnet links that I'm going to put in the description. This one right here which is the PS3 SDK and this one is Visual Studios 2010. Uh, if you already have Visual Studios 2010 you don't need to download that one obviously. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to open that. But um, yeah, so what you're going to do to start off is go into your C drive. You're going to make a folder called USR or user. Um, you're going to make another folder inside of that called local and inside of there you're going to make uh, two folders one called cell and one called SDK so what you're going to do after that once those two things that you download have finished you're going to install Visual Studio 2010 once you do that uh, you're just going to go into uh, once you install Visual Studio 2010 you're going to go into your PS3 folder that should be in your downloads or wherever you save your torrents to you're going to open Prodigy, the Prodigy installer in the Prodigy install you're going to click the third one down which is I already have it but it's Prodigy's Visual Studio integration and once you just click next 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 whatever you know how to install shit <laughs> um, you just yeah continue that you don't need any of these PDF files they're complete crap you don't need them but you're just gonna open up the file or the zip files and you're going to take the cell folder or what's inside the cell folder it doesn't matter and you can just drag and drop it into your local if you're taking the cell folder drag and drop it into there if you're going to go inside of everyone just drag and drop it from there to there and yeah so once you're done with that this shit you don't need you don't need that one or the next one the day one or day two slides are both crap you don't need them pretty sure you don't need this either no you don't need that either any of these PDF files I'm just gonna delete all of them you don't need them this you do need anything with cell inside of it you need and just take the folders you um, yeah just pretty much just take the folders inside of all of these this is just the Prodigy documentation, you don't need that. This is the installer, I recommend you keep that. This is an old version of the installer, if you have a newer one, use that, but this works just fine. And this one you don't need either, I'm pretty sure, let me just check. No, you don't need that. I'm just gonna delete that. You don't need that crap, you don't need, or well, you can install this if you want, it's not uh, mandatory, but I installed it anyway. Don't need that, you don't need any of this crap, you need this this right here and like I said it, it's pretty simple anything with a anything with a cell folder in it just go down all the all the zip files and just anything that has a cell folder you're gonna drag everything inside of the cell folder into there and then there's also another folder right here I'm pretty sure yeah it, that is SDK this is where the other folder comes into play which is this one SDK and then you just go in here and drag all this crap into there and once you're done dragging everything from there with all those, you're also going to go through the installers. This is useless. The SDK manager, it doesn't work. You ca it doesn't let you install anything. So I'll just show you that it doesn't let you install crap if it will open. Install, it does nothing. Like, it, you just can't do anything with it. It's useless. So you just close, just don't use that. But um, you're going to use this right here. You're going to install this. Install every uh, application in here. I, I'm not sure if they're all dependencies, but I would just install them all. I did. The tuner as well. All that crap. So, yeah, obviously I have it installed. And once you do that, once you have all that crap in your cell, uh, your cell and SDK folders, you're going to, and you, you have the Visual Studio integration installed. And also there's, hold on, let me show you that again. There's also in here there's a another one right here visual studio 2010 you can also use this as an alternative to the uh, vis or the prodigy integration it's another integration you can use either one it doesn't matter so once you do that and you install all that stuff you're just going to open up your visual studios which I'll do now once you have it open you're just going to do file click on new or well do new project and now you're not going to be on this screen you're just going to be on visual basic more than likely with this down you can undo that it's going to be under uh, visual c++ you're just going to click on sce and then ps3 um, inside of here you have make file project a ps3 ppu and ps3 spu uh, you only need the ps3 ppu and you just name it whatever the hell you want down here and click ok 
click next and now it says PPU elf project, PPU PRX project, and static library project. You're going to click on PRX project and uh, you don't need just leave this crap on the side alone. Click on finish. Now it'll make your new your new uh, file and once it's done you can just open up the PRX.cpp move this down and continue and now you can now you're ready to do SPRX's and uh, you can open menu bases and all that and everything should work flawlessly if you have any trob uh, if you have any troubles any troubles uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll help everybody to the best of my abilities uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time peace